Welcome back to your favorite podcast in the whole wide world, Shots, Shots of, of Honesty. Honesty. Yes. I am your host, Star Dawkins. I am your co-host, I Hate Julian, and we have a special guest with us today in the building, my man Plus. Good evening, people. Well, whenever y'all listening. What's up? What's good? How are you? <laughs> Plus. Plus, don't forget to talk into the mic because Sorry. they yes. need to hear you. That's right. Hear the sultry baritone. Uh, what's good, everybody? My name is Plus. Tell uh, them about yourself. Comedian extraordinaire, about 10 years now. Um, I don't know if you can tell. I'm handsome. Father <laughs> of one. Um, yeah, man, just all around real nigga. That's all. And not to cut you off, but you got your own podcast. Own podcast as well. We drop every Tuesday, Niggas With Opinions, the Ooh. NWO podcast. You can follow us all platforms, the NWO podcast. And we see your shirt say, Sa Passe, so that means you repping for the... Shouts out, Mazos, my people. Wouldn't buy me. So I can't lie. Yeah, man. Got yeah. a shot now. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? Translate that. I just say, what's up, my people? Oh. How are you going to take the shot before us? He don't know the rules of the Sorry. podcast. We're going to start one. off the show. And since hey, you didn't, snitch. since, since, <laughs> since, 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 since you said you're a real nigga, you can't be snitching on my co-host. Damn. So, <laughs> Damn. So we're going to start off the show as we always do. Shout out to Compound Miami Porp, your shot, because you didn't want to follow the rules. All right, I'll do that. So you're going to... Ooh, ooh, twist sh- off. He already drunk. <laughs> twist off. We're going to take a shot to start off the show. Whoa. Well, then. Don't pour my shot like that. Let me mind my business. <laughs> All right, let's take a shot to get this thing started. Um, shots to being Corona free. Mm. So we drinking. I'm gonna just get Ew. to it. <laughs> I don't want no more, Julian. Ooh. We drinking rain vodka. Continue. We drinking rain vodka today. Um. I don't, I'm not really a vodka drinker, as y'all know. This is probably like the second episode, right? Come on. Huh? Second episode that we had. Ooh, that is the nastiest vodka mm-hmm. I've ever had. Please stick to Ciroc or. I don't know any good vodka. Okay, Ciroc has the flavors. That's a game changer. Ciroc, Ciroc can tolerate. Um, is it absolute or? What vodka? Yeah, abs- is it absolute a vodka? They have flavors too. Pineapple. Ooh. Ooh, that was so gross. I mean, to be honest, for me, I prefer this. There's no flavor in it, so it's easier for me. I can't drink sweet liquor. But um, that shit was nasty. So, so right off the bat, I want to get to some controversy. <laughs> Star pointed out that you uh, repping for Haiti, you Haitian and all of that. But Star yeah. has something against Haitian men, she, right? She oh said my that. God, like, good. Why did no, you no. Do she that? said this two episodes is how, ago. This is how you do it. Bring it up and catch her off guard. Yeah. Because she wouldn't say it to my face. Now it's time. <laughs> it's time. I'm banging on the table with the mics. Um, okay. What what's if my what's people, your beef? What's your overall what if my, beef? How have my people wronged you? What have we done to you? Um, all right. So I'm going to be honest. Good. Um, as we know, every culture has their stereotype. Correct? Yeah, I've heard. Every culture. <laughs> so Haitians, they used to be, as a kid, I'm going to say I'm very ignorant. Sure. Stereotype is dirty. As a kid, I don't want to. How old are you? No one didn't adopt to Ishan. How old are you? That's the, as a kid, like middle school, how like the beginning now? of high Try school, how long 26, ago that was. 26, okay. right? Mm-hmm. Growing up, Jamaican, Haitians dirty, American men dirty, Jamaican men dirty. Who did they leave us today? I don't even know. But White men, it's the conditioning. No, no, <laughs> That's no. That's what it sounds like. But it, it was overall like a thing. Don't date no Haitians. Haitians cook cats. You know, you know. Back in the day, before Amazo came out, before Haitians got their power from Amazo, because let's be honest, y'all was having a hard time before Amazo. When Amazo dropped, it became like we fought with Haitians. So I'm trying to understand. Right now, what's the issue? Okay, right now the issue is I think Haitian men are crazy. And I think that there is a culture barrier, as I do with a lot of other nationalities. I take great offense to Jamaicans calling us crazy. Super great offense. Are you crazy? No. no are you crazy? Are you? Are, yeah, I, I, think I mean, you, I'm Jamaican. I'm wowzers. I, the reason why I think you guys are a different level crazy. Mm. Um, okay, I would like to say Jamaicans are more creative than Haitians, and Haitians are sometimes more intelligent. Haitians are the scammers. Agree. Haitians are the scammers. That's creative. Haitians, no, it's not creativity. It's intelli- All right, I'm going to show you this. Like, for example, if, you, if a, you give a Haitian man a job at a call center, right? Mm-hmm. A Haitian man is going to immediately think about, hmm, 
I'm doing this for them. I could have my own call center as a scam using the same line, using the same da-da-da-da. And y'all will band together to do it. A Jamaican is going to think of a song. The pun, the call, the pun, the, yeah, yeah, like you see what I'm, and, and I'm not stereo, I'm not fully stereotyping, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying. She said a song, though. No. Even though, even though we know Jamaicans do, do the calling scam, I'm just, I was just used throwing that out as an example. I think Haitian men, I always see them in business heavy. I always see them working extremely hard. Um, not to say that Jamaican men don't work and hard. That's the kind of nigga you don't want to date. No, but this, <laughs> let me get to it. Haitian men, your level of crazy is not the crazy I'm used to. I'm used to Jamaican crazy. You know what? And it's, I can take that. That's Jamaican fair. Jamaican crazy is I'm going to put my hands on you. Haitian crazy is I'll hack your whole phone and your whole life. And it's happened. The one, the one, My first time in high school when I went on a date with a Haitian guy. He hacked your phone in high school? I swear to God. He was a little older than me. Well, was you lying, babe? It was our first date. I'm not your babe. We love you already. It's too late. <laughs> Haitian, Haitian men fall in you love said different. You said different crazy. First date, we Haitian love. Haitian men, no, I know. Look, I'm, I'm going to say his name. I'm not with the shit. Josh, Josh <laughs> Haitian men fall in love crazy. Oh, you're yeah, about. I'm not with it. Jamaican men are not like that. They, they, they got this chill, but then when they love you, it's like, oh, Lord. I, got it, I can totally accept you just being comfortable with the crazy that everybody has a different kind of crazy. And I admit, like, especially women, but I enjoy Haitian women crazy. I've tried American women crazy. I've tried Bahamian crazy. I've tried Jamaican crazy. They're not for me. They so hurt. I, who's, that, the, who's the craziest? So, no, before you say who's the craziest, what, what is the different? Crazy. What is the different crazy? What's American woman crazy? Like, American woman Hold crazy. Hold on. And have you, have you ever had Hispanic woman crazy? <sighs> I don't want to go back there either. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. You know what? Julian, they, they, it they, sounds they, nice. They, it sounds Tell nice. us. They, <laughs> Tell us more. Hispanic woman crazy has to be the worst because they're the only ones who think it's okay. You yeah. understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Everybody else thinks, okay, I might be tripping. Not Hispanic <laughs> women. They'll burn your shit down. Just, I did it because I love you. That's how, <laughs> that's how motherfuckers that they are. So they're crazy. Can you relate, has to be Julian? The worst. Is that, do you think that's accurate? Um... I think Hispanic women crazy is the highest. Like how he said, yeah. I, for me, I think that's the highest. It gotta level. be. It gotta be. And it, are they unapologetic about it? At times, they they could be. I look from afar. But I now. hear I hear Hispanic pussy good. So you know, the better the pussy, the better the crazy. It's not been my experience. However, kudos to people who think so. <laughs> oh, <laughs> However, wow. that's not been my experience. Oh wow. Okay, so what's Haitian crazy? Um. Haitian women kill you silently when they mad, so it's really hard to read. Oh. You know what I mean? I get what you're saying. Ignore, it, be petty with And then their poison ignore. your food, and then you have no idea when you're going to die. Like, it's it's a slow, silent kill. And you so said you, that's what you prefer. That's what I prefer. Because he's used to it. Now, what's Jamaican crazy? Jamaican crazy is Jamaican women do Wait, shit. Julian's dated a Haitian. Could you agree on the slow, silent? Yeah. Okay. Jamaican women do He's shit on point. like... He's on point right now. They do shit like they yell and argue at you, then turn around and then like ask you, like, hey, you want to watch a movie? Like, no, nah, bitch, I'm still mad from 10 minutes ago. You just can't act like the argument over. It been I done. Need, no! Can, can we, no! <laughs> we need to transition. Can we fuck? No! You see that shit? They take you up here just to piss you off. And, and now I'm ready to suck dick. I can deal with that. And now I'm ready to suck dick. I can't do that shit. Don't fuck with my emotions for no reason, man. Because now I'm but, mad as fuck. But guess what? Jamaican men don't like it either. Jamaican men, a lot of Jamaican men, they hate that shit because a lot of times we push you to the point where, bitch, we might be on the floor in blood. And then we, and then after we know that we kind of escalated the thing, we'll be like, I want to lay down. See, that's the thing. I don't know of a faster forgiving woman than a Jamaican woman. You're going to have a fight and shit's going to be over fast. I feel like Haitian women are, are forgiving. They are. But, but then again, you never really slow, know. They but it's still like they probably won't, the argument won't be as bad. Like, because when they, I see how, I get what you're saying because a lot of Haitian women, they operate like, Whatever. Not talking Whatever. to you. Like, uh, no. You but, don't deserve my energy but, right but now. That, that, that Jamaican shit, like, it get fiery and then it's just, it's done. And if, if you can handle that kind of roller coaster, they they great women. So what about American? Uh, did we say American? Yeah. No, no we, we didn't, didn't say, say American. Okay. 
Um, like in my experience, American women tend to nag, nag, and oh, not only that, but like they they say really terrible shit when they're upset. Mm. You understand? And like worse than Jamaican women. I think so because like I think like. Do ja- you understand what the Jamaican women were saying? Well, <laughs> Maybe that's why. <laughs> but see, here's the Jamaican women are like taught like just like Haitian women from a child. Like you know, you respect this man, you treat this man nice, bro. All the w- Jamaican women that I've dated. No, she- I, I agree with him. I feel like, sorry, not to cut yeah. you off, but I always felt like, even I even give it to Hispanics too. Like to to, All of them. to a degree, if you're if you come from some type of cultural background that's not just American, it's like you you in a sense as a woman, from what I've experienced and what I've seen, it's like you. You treat your man a little bit better. Yeah. And not even like whether that you do it, it's definitely argument, how you were raised. In the argument, don't you think they get they get But that's what I'm saying. Like, cause even with that, in the back of your mind, you're arguing, there's still some shit you may not say. There's a line you may not cross. Yeah, that's there's true. a boundary you may have. That's, that's true. No matter that's how true. mad I get, I'm not gonna mention the third bump on your dick because I know how that makes you feel. That's true. American <laughs> women do say all man, types of they don't give a They fuck. say anything. They really do. It's the city girls. City girls, Trina type of they vibe. They say what they want, and, it, and and if you don't get over it real fast, you Jamaican a bitch. women, they're like you could even see in the music. Jamaican women, we're like always in a confidence argument. Like we're competing with other women. Who's the wife? Who's the side chick? Who got the bestest pussy? That we're a confidence high. American women, their confidence coming from beating down their man, like talking crazy. And I think it's hard for me because I'm Jamaican, so I'm raised with. A certain line, but then I grew up in South Florida it's, it's on so, Trina. It's a little different. So <laughs> I'm a little. She got, she got it, she, I feel that. I'm a little whatever. So you, and th- would you and call then, yourself Americanized? I'm definitely Americanized. I'm I'm not Jamaican enough for the Jamaicans, and I'm not American enough for the Americans. And to make matters worse, when I was younger, some of my closest friends were Hispanic. So I I'm very the vindictive things that they can think of. I'm hip with it. Like, I think Hispanic Carolina women, no, I think Hispanic women are so great at being vindictive. Like, how the fuck did you think of that? You Could, could you agree? Like, how did you think to take it that far? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Look at his so, eyes. When but at the same time, Spanish <laughs> women are very nurturing. They are. And I am too. Right. I, I'm like extremely so, so nurturing. Like, like, so great at it. You understand? But they're better than me. No, no. That, Hispanic women are like nurturers. They teach that they shit got at, it locked. at Cuba Academy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they make you feel like a king. Yeah. They got that shit. They boost your head up so high. Because it's it's like you said, it's a it's a culture thing. It's a respect thing. Like, okay, even for s- simple things, I think Haitians, Jamaicans, and Hispanics, we all are kind of taught that the man is supposed to have some type of leadership. Like he's the one in charge. I think Haitians do it better than Jamaicans. Right. And Hispanics do it better than Haitians. They do it better than everybody. Jamaicans are, Jamaican women are the last at the totem pole. In but the they three. still do it. I they would, do it, yeah. but they're the last, but, but, but they like, do it better than Americans. Like, the older they are, the more they believe in it. Because old Jamaican women won't even let a nigga touch a plate. You know how that is. Oh, that's so true. You understand? So, but, but that's the difference. The thing that's changing is a lot of Haitian women, they come here and I'm like... Trina changed everybody's values. You know what I'm <laughs> no, but not just like my grandma. She's she was raised and she had a kid at 16 in Jamaica with an older guy, like very old school Jamaican. And even her, she's still like, I'm cooking or I'm cleaning. And one day she'll just say she outside washing, and she realized her nigga in the house laying on the bed. She'll stop washing. So sometimes she realized, damn, I'm watching this shit. Fuck that. And he not doing shit. It's okay. Whereas Hispanics and Haitian women, they feel like it's their duty. Like I hear Haitian women say, first of all, I'm cooking and washing the dishes and setting the table. And I'm like. You want a nigga to do one of the other? No. I'm, I'm like, you, first of all, I'm using paper plates. You're not getting no but fucking plate. All, but I, what I'm trying to say is like, that shit, like, I don't know Haitian girls like that no more. That shit faded away, bro. Oh, it did. All the Haitian girls are city girls, bro. Like, it's different. <laughs> oh. Because that's, but like, because all the Haitian girls are like you. Like, they're raised by Haitian women. But like, you see your mother get cheated on and finessed your whole life. You don't want that. You don't want it. You don't want it anymore. You want to change the mm. diet. It's like your formula ain't working. I don't see any Haitian women taking that multi family shit anymore. That's just done. To me. I had a conversation with my grandma yesterday, and I told her that I think a lot of times women are afraid to be women because. Of what we've seen women go through, so so you don't you don't want to you don't want that. that's a bar. 
No, seriously. That's a bar. So you feel like being a woman means you're a doormat. And it, like, for instance, if a man says, mm -hmm. no, you're not going to 2K pool party. Mm -hmm. He's setting a boundary. But she sees, oh, I'm not going to have no nigga control me. And that is not because he's actually being controlling. He's asking you to respect your relationship by not going to shake your ass in a thong, which is not that unreasonable. However, we're looking at it as, uh-uh, this is the first step to control. You're not about to do this. You're not about... We get in that mode that we are your equal. Again, to I my mean, reasoning why men are not the prize, because we are not your equal. She, she threw that in there. We are not, we're not your equal. And you do... Sometimes men do have to set the standard for their household and set some kind of some kind of boundaries in place. But we feel like we shouldn't listen to any boundaries because we've seen people withstand so much abuse, so much... Manipulation. Manipulation. We're like, I don't want to be my mom. I don't want to be my grandma. To the point where we overdo it. Like, I always say women's rights movements messed it up for the family structure. Because a man can't operate as a man when a woman is operating as a man. He didn't sign up to be with a man. He signed up to be with the prize. But see, that's what's interesting. Because, like, <laughs> all of the women, right, like, that message is inconsistent. Because half of you feel feminist and half of you don't. And everybody's talking about it. Y'all on one page. It's not on, because all the niggas know we want to be kings. We all agree. Yeah. All of us agree we want to be kings. Yeah. All of us agree that we want to be head of household. Women aren't oh, no. sure where they want to be. No. Yesterday, I actually, I'm in a, I'm digging now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you, you met a house husband? Yes. But not, he's not a full house husband. A proud house I, husband. I, <laughs> I said to him, um, and Julian has even said this before, um, how would you fit? Yeah, you have. You said you wouldn't mind a girl taking care of you. If she said stop working, you said you, you oh, could yeah, dig yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. No. So even like a lot of Jamaican men, they sitting in Jamaica not having a job. They not doing nothing. They come to America. They not doing nothing. And a man, a woman is taking care of them. A lot of American men are on their Game Boy borrowing their girl card. Jody, my Jody. We know a lot of Jodies. And... Their goal is not to become the breadwinner of the household. To trickle into the conversation that I had yesterday, I asked the guy, um, you know, how do you feel about your woman making more than you or being the breadwinner? And he said, oh, I'm completely fine with it. And <sighs> call me shallow. But I didn't like that. Even if you never do make more than me in life, I don't want you to be fine. I want you to always have it like, my goal is to be the breadwinner. I can't agree with that. Well, I, I think can. that's insane. Why? So, let me, okay, help me understand this. So, I'm with you, for example. Mm -hmm. For example, yeah. we're together. We're together. We both work hard as fuck. Yeah. Something happens yeah. where you hit an amazing lick and now you're getting millions. Exactly. Right? Instead of me being happy for you, what you're saying is I should secretly want to make more than you. I did not say you're not happy for me. Well, because, I, that, no, because that's not what, what I said. So how can you I can, not be okay, okay with Okay, I have a question. I have a question. Beyonce, so of B, all of you. All right. Beyonce, Rihanna, it's Best Female Artist Award. Okay. Let's say they're, are they signed to the same label, Rock Nation? Okay. No, nah, Beyonce's not on Rock Nation. Okay, well, let's say they were, right? Mm -hmm. They're friends. Let's say they're friends. Mm -hmm. Rihanna wins. Beyonce can be happy for her friend, but still want that spot. And still say, you know what, next time I'm working so I can get that spot. I don't feel like I should just be complacent. Okay, you don't want to complacent second nigga. Number, Nobody as wants number two. Nigga. I agree. And that's why I said, I agree. if I say, how do you feel about that? And your first response is, it's not ideal. I would prefer to be whatever, but if that's the way the cards are dealt, I'm happy for my woman. That's, that's a answer. completely different I mean, answer. That's the answer. I knew that was the If, that's I, if I'm is. dating and a girl asks me that, I'm not going to say, like, yeah, that's cool with me. Like, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm like, me, babe. I don't need that money. No, <laughs> like, nigga, do you lie? Do you know how to lie? Because you should have lied. <laughs> no, definitely. Yeah, because you don't want your old, your, your old lady to be making, like, crazy more money than you, but if she is, I'm working my ass off to match it to beat it, but and I, do your thing, but I'm so happy for but you. This <laughs> is, but this is even what I said to him. I said, let me show you something in the makeup of men and women. A woman that's doing stuff for a man, she gets tired. She gets annoyed. She starts talking shit to her friends about it. <laughs> men, <laughs> men who are on top, I'm not saying they start to struggle. Men who are consistently on top, like the woman who's consistently on top, they don't give a fuck if they keep doing for you. They got it. As T.I. said, it ain't tricking if you got it. Like, 
it it's a different feeling. Like I feel like it's in y'all DNA to just want to take care and give in terms of financially and stability. You get what I'm saying? And I was telling him, you know, as time progresses and you're in a relationship with a woman, and let's say I'm making seven, eight figures, and you are good with your 50000 because it can pay our mortgage. Because, you know, I have a rule. You got to pay the rent and pay the mortgage. Mm. You're complacent with that. But I want a Bentley. You can't, you can't even save to gift me something that I want. Sounds like you can gift you. Yes, I can gift me, right? But when I can gift you and me a Bentley, if if you say your dream car is da 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 da, you can just do it. <laughs> and I say, here's the Lambo, Bay. Happy birthday! <laughs> How good would it feel for you to gift me one of my dreams? How terrible would you feel knowing that you could never gift me any of my dreams? So that's why I wonder, eventually that fucks with a man's ego. I wonder. That's why I wonder. Like when you talk about this, the only couple that comes to mind is Nicki Minaj and her dude, but like <laughs> And all, and before her current dude, Safari. Yeah. So like I'm sure they was buying her stuff with her money. Yes. Her of course. <laughs> Which is always weird. However, That's however, also like a low-key flex though. Let me let me show let me let me show you something. This is what women do to brain fuck themselves. Women in those positions say, he's working with me and he's a part of my team. And they make sure their man is not just at home while I'm in the studio. You see, Safari, he lit- he literally was working for her. Yeah. He when she's he on stage, she's he's jumping up and down, <laughs> hype man. She needs water, he has to go get that. And I'm not saying she's sunning him or whatever, but it's like, hey, listen, as the type of man I need right now is not necessarily a man that has his own rap career. I need a man on my team. And if you can do that, I'll compensate you. Cause she would have to compensate another hype man, wouldn't she? Right. So in all technicality, it's not her money. Because if, let's say China, me and China, mm-hmm. when China was working for me before she owned the franchise, and I gave her money to pay her as an employee, and she bought me a birthday gift, I wouldn't say she used my money to buy me a gift. She worked for that money. That's her money. Mm. So I think women use a brain fuck like, he's my man, but let me separate the business because he's also doing this. So are you saying it's a good brain fuck or It depends on the person. So then I just then I ponder just about celebrity relationships in general like even if it's vice versa when the man is the breadwinner and it comes time where it's his birthday or Christmas and he has a wish list and stuff it's the same thing for the woman like But what she's saying is that's more normal. That and, and that's because, what and this is what I'm saying. Because our our function is paymaster in this in this society. No, no, no. I'm not saying your function is paymaster. But what I'm saying to you is, let me know. You can tell me. Do you feel bad? Because even Julian, what Julian expresses as his love languages, he don't need a fucking car in the driveway. He want a cal a naked calendar. <laughs> That excite That's that funny. would never <laughs> excite a woman. So what I'm saying to you is not that you guys don't want the nice things as well. It's just that you men are simple. You guys want to feel good. When a girl is not stressing you, your life your life feels ec- ecstatic. Think about Facts. think about women. Think about women. That's a bar. A man, no, it's, it's a, only bar. a man could not stress us. A man could be. It's like why you see women get with a rich man. He's not doing nothing but being a good nerd They'll be ass miserable nigga. and quiet. You hear me? They be miserable, miserable and, and cheating. Quiet miserable and cheating. and cheating and quiet. Thank God. And even end up leaving I'll take him. all three of them. Jesus. And leaving. <laughs> where and as miserable a, and quiet, Jesus. Where as a man, if y'all, with, if y'all with, a nigga, with a girl who has her own, is not stressing you out, you're good. That's what I'm saying. We just our functions are naturally different. The DNA is different, so you can't be the prize and the king. You got to pick one. So let me ask you a question, right? Because <laughs> she loved she loved throwing that. No, no, because it. you're speaking to a very specific kind of women, right? Like, like what? Like who? Like the kind of woman who desires those things, because not every woman desires that type of thing. <laughs> Why you look yeah. shocked? She she. Th- you look, so you what, you think every woman wants to be paid for? You think that 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 that's not for every woman? It doesn't impress every woman? It doesn't move every woman. Money doesn't move me. That's I didn't say it moves you. So what I'm oh, so, so then, no, you just spoke saying- to the kind of man you said that you don't want a nigga who you can out earn. 
No, no, no. I didn't say I who's want okay to with like, who's okay with being who's out early. Complacent. Earned. Who's complacent? Who's complacent? Who you do not look at me as a motivation. You do not look at me as inspiration. So then, you look at me as a cushion. It's not even about making the more money. I just have to want to make more money. So I can keep the fifty thousand as long as I want to be better for you, babe. No, no, you're not getting it because if you want to be better, you will. That's bullshit. But but keep cooking. I disagree. Keep cooking. Can you order my book, manifest that shit, and then we can talk about it? If you want to be better. You will. I can't I say that wanted. for you. I can't agree with you. Okay. I can't agree with you okay. there. I know You're plenty co- of people who have been garbage at what they do for 10 years. Mm. I'm sure they desire to be better, but trash mm. is trash. Well, I would say this. They must not be manifesting and working hard enough. They still want it. No. When I say, okay, I don't know what want means for you, but to me- Want has so, one definition, To me, when, when you want something, mm. you're actively working towards, you're doing everything in your powers, you're putting in the universe that this is yours. That's more than wanting. Oh, that's well, that's working. what wanting means for me. That's what wanting means for okay. me. So, I, you know what? I get what you're saying. You're saying somebody could be like, oh, I want a Lexus. Oh, I want a BMW. Yeah, yeah. I get what you're saying. You okay, I agree with that. So, I get that. Yeah. What I'm saying is you're wanting and working. So, a nigga working, actively working toward making more, mm-hmm. absolutely. How could you not want that guy? Mm-hmm. But a nigga who just wants and doesn't do shit, I don't, I don't, I, want I, I don't, you. See, I don't see that doing anything. I don't want you. And, and and um I had a debate, you know Eddie. Um he he's like one of the top paid, what is he, a corner of safety? Corner. Corner. And he posted something like a woman would never um elevate a man, but a man would help elevate a woman. And I said bullshit. And he's like, nah. Women want the nigga with bread already. And I said, maybe you're in a different tax bracket, so you He's don't in that world. So you don't see that. <laughs> He's in that anymore. world, yeah. But he got hood friends that they bitches taking care of him. I'm uh, um, taking care of the guys. But I think what it chops up to is it's how you make people feel. So like you said, I don't want a guy that's at fifty thousand dollars a year. But if you're at fifty thousand dollars a year, right? Let's say I meet you, you're at fifty thousand dollars a year. You keep me rolling, laughing on the damn floor. And I know that I know the producer to, let's say, Netflix. And I see that you take, like, every morning you get up, you're writing, da 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 you're emailing, you're doing whatever comedians do. I don't know the world. Right. Why wouldn't I be with you? you, you you're wanting and working. You All you need is a plug, and you're going to get that plug soon because you believe in yourself. That's much different than a nigga on the couch with a wish list. Exactly. A nigga on the couch with a, li- with a wish list ain't shit. And that's what I'm saying. So when you look at it from the position of, oh, well, if my girl is doing that, then that's fine. I immediately see a nigga on the couch with a wish list. <laughs> immediately. I see. No, I, I see why you see that. Because yeah. when, you when you said his response, that's what it sounded like to me. Like, it's like, uh-huh. Like, yeah, go do your thing. I'll, no, be, but, I'll be here. And, and let me tell you, I preach this all the time, bro, because we have a generation right now of niggas raised by single women, right? Oh. So, so some niggas right. have only seen women pay for shit. Exactly. Some niggas have that's only deep. seen that's women. It's so deep. Let's take because, a shot to that. Look, think about how many niggas have never seen a man be a man in the house. Facts. Think about that. So it's like. So can you blame them? I mean, yes. still, because I'm a nigga raised by a single woman. Ain't no woman taking care How of me. How many times have you seen police beat um black nigga's ass? It don't mean that it's right. Yeah, because I mean, I don't, but like, it's not, I don't think it's Let's okay. Let's take a shot to that. I felt like that was so deep. Go ahead. Finish it. So thing. I think that attitude kind of exists because of that. But at the same time, I know tons of niggas raised by single mothers who are getting it. You understand? So I mean, because... There are so many different results from the single mother experiment. Mm. I can't say there's nothing wrong with that. Mm. So to piggyback to y'all's initial statement, men are on the same page and women are not. Can you see why a lot of men are not on the same page? Oh, I hate to say it. I hate to call you right. But yeah, <laughs> no, I can definitely see. A lot of men th- are there's not. There's a group of niggas who don't want to rah and be the king. And that's. They they want to be Nicki Minaj's They want to be Safari. Ooh, that's so disgusting. But you want to know why I feel bad for Safari? And I have a special place in my heart for cancers. Like, my un- my first love, my uncle, he's a cancer. <laughs> and he's so genuine that sometimes they get caught up into this web of a person they care about. And it's like, you think this person you care about is going to plug you soon. Because that's what they said. So you just hold it down. You holding it down. You playing your part. And guess what? You know what a big problem with this society is? A lot of people don't know how to play their part. That's why I love 2K. I feel like, wow, this is a group of men and everyone plays their part. Everybody doesn't have to be Julian. Every, everyone kind of knows Julian is the face. 
But everybody knows their place is significant. They know that, okay, if I'm the photographer, my leg is just as important as Julian's leg. Because without Julian's leg, it's no content. That's what I was going to say. Because, Am I lying? Because Julian making a face. Maybe y'all are, it's a facade, y'all. Maybe it's a facade. Here's what's crazy. If every nigga is trying to be Julian, then Julian can't be Julian because now he got to be you. Exactly. You understand what I'm exactly. saying? So it's like this so shit has to So that's what I'm saying. Like With being a safari, it wasn't bad that safari was safari. It was bad because that safari's goal wasn't to be the help. Safari <laughs> thought... No, I'm serious. You're right. Safari yeah, thought he was going to get his step up. He's doing yeah. it right now. And I mean, like, so 10 he... years in, the step never came. <sighs> that's a terrible and, moment, bro. <laughs> but here's how I can stand up for my girl, Nick. I bet. You know I can. I bet. Sometimes you protect the people you love. She knows firsthand. That boy can't rap. <laughs> Period. <laughs> she knows. You can contribute hey. to some of my lyrics. You can put some input, but you are not the star. Yeah. Everyone's not a star. I think he's talented, though. But he's, he's not a star. He's entertaining. Okay, Julian. he's entertaining, he's, he's, but he's, he's not a star. Like, if he's on stage, you're gonna want to watch it. Right, and but, on yes. TV. Or on and TV. I honestly love Safari. Shit, it's like, entertaining. I love Safari, but Safari isn't um, Little Wayne. Yeah, he's not. He's he's not that. But he he's an entertainer in his own right. Because I'm, I'm gonna use an example. Cardi B. Cardi B is not a rapper. Cardi B is the entertainer. Cardi B will ne I will never say Cardi B is the best rapper. Cardi B hands down is the best entertainer. This makes me wonder what Nicki Minaj's new nigga is like. I need to know what this nigga is like. He's a hood nigga. It's somebody she just feels secure with. He's a hood. You want to know why I can't understand Nicki she Minaj's had to, she point? She had to bounce back from from Meek with with a, another. Because no, because she started with Nas after Meek. I don't think that was serious. Yeah, it didn't feel like it was some... Yeah, because Nas is a low-key guy. You can't do them so, games like you do with the other guys. He, he never confirmed it anyway. He didn't. Because Nas doesn't... What does Nas confirm? Um, Khalees be going off. Nas confirms like, nothing. He's that nigga. I thought it was fake the whole time. Like, Nas not doing this. But why he's, wouldn't he? No, it's no. He's, not? he's not whack. He's not going to fake it. He's just not into... You got to remember, these older artists are not social media people. Nicki was really fucking on Nas, bro. Yes. Anyway, this is what I want to say. For Nikki's new life, and I can say this as a woman, get into the bag and understand where Nikki is coming from. As much as I pop shit, I want a nigga that pay the bills, I want a da 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 When it's all said and done and you can do everything for yourself except find someone who is loyal, who loves you for you, I might... I might renege on my words. So earlier when I said when you find a woman who doesn't need that, why you act like I was speaking Chinese earlier? No, 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 because it's not that she, okay, you're right. She doesn't need that, but every woman wants that. And that's that's on period. It doesn't matter if your your love language is not gifts. If you go outside and there's a Bentley or a BMW or your or whatever car you used to fantasize about, you're going to love that. Until you get 50 of them, then what? Let me explain. Do you no you. longer? Did it no longer People means anything? People collect Birkin bags and they still get they pussy wet at the new one. It's still I Kylie do. Jenner <laughs> has over, and she the way she you could see the passion in the way she speaks on these bags. And this is nothing new to Kylie. She grew up like this. What I'm saying to you is, everyone has their thing, right? Everyone has their thing. Absolutely. But even you, as a man, if you walk outside. And there's a BMW, even though you don't expect that from your woman, you still you will still love that. It's cool. Yeah. So sure, it's a BMW. exactly. So what I'm saying to you is there's no woman in the world that absolutely does not care about it. Right? But what I am saying, there are women who will tolerate other things. Because it's just like, oh, if he doesn't give me a BMW, I won't die. Because he can do these more important things? Yeah. And to me. And this is just to me, as I said, when it gets to a point in life, and it has to get to this point, Nikki is almost 40 years old. So it's at Man, that point. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. yeah but you know, I mean, she, she, she's almost 40 years old. Over same 10 with year Trina, career. Same right. with Trina. You both are at a point you don't have no kids. You've traveled around the world. You've met the richest men. You've met the brokest men. You've done everything there is to do. You don't perform on the biggest stages. You perform that. on the, everyone knows you. It comes down to who is rocking with me for me. 
And that's why the guy she's with, the only reason why I can say I'm here for it is because this guy knew her as Onika Mirage. For a long time, from childhood or some shit, some old school queen shit. Yes. Apparently. I guess that means a lot. That means more it, than a lot. History trumps. Because when I had shit. fucked up teeth, no ass and no titties, you was checking for me. So now when I got the perfect veneers, this ass, this body, this clout, I can I can double back and say, yeah, he loves Nikki, but he been loved Onika. Can so, I can I go ahead? That? Go ahead. We talked about Haitian women. Um, Jamaican women, Hispanic women, what else? American women, but I feel like we was talking about black women and we are talking about the levels of crazy. Is is there a such thing? I don't know. I'm asking because I'm inexperienced. White? <laughs> is there a white woman crazy? I don't have enough experience. I got experience. But you got experience. But well, yeah, well, I've never... No, I, so any... confessions. Go, yeah. I got a confession. Go crazy. I never had sex with a white girl ever in my life. Ever? Ever. Wow. Really? You ever kissed one? I, I've kissed one because Bar. my my elementary my elementary <laughs> school was I was in like a, a magnet program, so I was with the white white kids. But they just spend the bottle. It's some <laughs> shit like that, but yeah. I've never I've never I've maybe like been with maybe two or three. But that's But like, not on a serious tip. Yeah, nothing like that. Okay. <gasps> what? What happened? Julian, I'm a fraud. What? You had sex this with a white dude? This is off topic. This is so off topic. She's scaring me. Oh my God. <laughs> this I'm a fraud is really strong. I just wanna... So, remember on the show, I said to you guys, Star only fucks her niggas? You fucked a nigga that wasn't... Oh yeah, so she had this thing where every nigga she fought is, has been her boyfriend. It's, it's my boyfriend, off rip. Ooh. <laughs> Oh my God! You're a fraud. That's, 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 that's two, two yes. niggas. That's two niggas. Oh my God! Hold on. So let me tell Could y'all. Could there be three? No. Let me tell y'all something. And this is bad to say. Ooh, I'm sorry if any of them still watching. You know how I say, "If I fuck you, you my nigga." I'm listening. There, there has been a person that. The idea was we gonna fuck and you'll be my nigga, but if I don't like the sex, I, I like, I literally wipe you and it, like it's. Oh, so you erase them from your memory you because you black. don't. I don't <laughs> want you to because I take it to sex when you're about to be my nigga. This is the last test to to make it across the finish you line. Are funny as fuck. It's like a reality show. <laughs> Oh I think, yo, that's my what I mean. god! I have a role. Hold on, one this, more nigga. this happened. For, this happened with two niggas. I don't know. I'm not <laughs> answering that question because y'all not gonna study me. But what I can say, I don't want nobody putting pieces together because I don't want anybody to be embarrassed. But if, ooh, I'm, ooh, ladies, can you relate to? If you like a guy, if you like a guy, y'all been talking long, and you finally have sex with him, and it's whack. He can't be your nigga. And now, no, but to to double back on what you said, you said your personality. You said if if the sex is whack, you could work through it. I'm an adult. I'm like grown, grown. Like, and this is and this is when I say grown, grown. I mean like, hmm. It's not whack sex like I'm thinking of in my brain right now. It, it it's not that. Cause I, I can't work on whack sex. So I'm a fraud twice. I can't work on wax sex, and I haven't only so fucked my niggas. Can I can I throw on a cape for whoever the nigga is? Yeah. Me personally, from what I've experienced, and I had sex with a lot of people. I had sex, you feel me, <laughs> for a long time. I've been having sex. Fuck your my shit, my first time having sex with a girl is usually always the worst time. So, if a girl was to judge me of the first time every time. Then like, I think one of the parties I tried it again. I think I did try it. I cannot remember. I feel I, like you can't remember. No, no, <laughs> you, no. And I'm saying this is the sick part about me. I literally get disgusted with your dick game being so whack that I literally wipe you. Like, 
Shout out to all the ladies giving our second chances. We appreciate you. <laughs> and third oh chance. Oh, my God. Shout out, I'm a shout sicko. Out to y'all. Second chance, sweet queens. So, basically, and that's why when I told I told Julian, like, if I'm fucking, you're my man. Because at that moment, you're my man, but we just broke up after the sex. So, it's like, you're my man, but we, Okay, and when I say you're my man, even the people I'm referring to, they didn't have a problem being in a relationship. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not like they would say no, because we're talking... Whether it be months or even years for one of them, we're talking years, and they didn't have the issue being in a relationship. Y'all was talking for years. Yeah, before on and off. Sex. Yeah, on and off for years, like since I was in middle school, mm-hmm. and um, we didn't have sex till I was in college. Mm-hmm. And y'all well, gonna say, just, say I'm stupid I mean, for this he knows too? Who he is now. Y'all gonna <laughs> so, say I'm stupid for this too? But if your dick's too big. <laughs> the people want to know what too big means. No, no, no. <laughs> Little voice too. Go ahead. <laughs> What's too big? I don't know, but it, it's too big. <laughs> what you know when you see it? Because I can't like that, when I say I wipe you out. And so, you, so the sex don't necessarily have to be whack. If his dick is too big, it's what is no, but it's, whack it's probably whack if it's too big, and maybe you. I've never heard that correlation. Maybe I haven't had enough sex. But if it's too big, maybe you're not sure. It don't fit. I don't know. Maybe no, no, my no, no, pussy's no, no, no. too tight. I'm not saying you're wrong. I don't have a pussy. All I can do is listen <laughs> to you because you're right. You're right about all this it's, shit. It's just not fitting. And it's, it doesn't feel good. And then it, it just now, you're not my man and I don't know you. I believe, I don't, don't quote me on this, but I want to say average vagina depth is like five to six. Google no, it. but all right, it's not once you're in, it's bef- it's the get in. Oh, because of the oh, you told these girthy boys. <laughs> these girthy boys. These girthy boys. <laughs> it's, it's, it, once you're in, of course we're, we're solid, but it's to get it there. It's the introduction. It's the, it's the intro. <laughs> like I don't know. I can't listen. I wish I could perfectly remember the sex experience, but I'm gonna say this about Star. Y'all know I'm a real ass bitch. The people that the experience wasn't right with, it it just wasn't right. And I, I liked it. I, <laughs> I feel didn't like you like wanted the, to say more than I that. did like them. I liked them so much too. But it just child. But but like you know, like have you ever liked a girl and had sex with her and then just not liked her no more? Yeah, because sexual chemistry I think is super real, super important. Like, there's some people you can fuck with and hit it off from the very first time, like you always knew each other. And then there are other people where it's just it's weird. She don't kiss right. Yeah, you understand? She do weird shit, and it just it just what's weird shit? High, or weird hygiene or some shit. <laughs> what's like weird that. high? What's weird shit? I once had a, a woman ask me to talk crayon. Like I'm not trying to think right now, bitch. I'm just trying to do this. Why I talk crayon? Weird. That's weird as fuck. Man. Oh okay. my. G- okay, listen. Did y'all see the thing <laughs> on Twitter? And I'm gonna pull this up for y'all because this was mad fucking crazy. Where is my Twitter page? Viewers, if you don't follow me on Twitter, my Twitter is Star Dawkins. But um, this chick. Oh, I love this. He's saying, I'm gonna slice your throat. She's getting naked. She's getting naked to him saying mean things to her. She oh, like that's what she likes. She splashes everywhere. Please she makes, continue watching she it. She makes a mess. Put it to the mic, Julian. 166. Kidnap, dump the body. She said, what else? Oh, what else, daddy? It's the California accent that's killing me. I'm going to burn you. <laughs> She said, how bad you gonna shoot me how many times? How many times? Six times. More aggression. More aggression. More aggression. More aggression. I'll whack you. Hold on. You stopped it? No. You want me to squirt? Yes. Yes. Make a mess. Make a mess. Make a mess. And he says it in such a goofy way. Make a mess. You guys? Oh. Julian, give me the phone, you nasty. No, no, no. I mean, yeah, yeah. Okay, listen. Overall, what happened is a woman during sex wants the guy to say, 
I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to kill you. Um, I'm going to shoot you a hundred times. I'm going to chop your arms off. And she's like, what else you going to do to me, daddy? Oh, you going to um slice my throat? Like, th- that sh- that's her thing. So would that be too weird for you guys? If that's if, like, if she if she wants you to say like that, yeah, that would, that would be weird as fuck. But talking in general, I love talking during sex. Okay, but How I about like you? organic conversation. I don't say much. Oh, that's boring. And I you're guess. a comedian. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> ain't shit funny. Nothing, <laughs> <laughs> ain't nothing funny. I mean, you never maybe did, some you never did an impression or some shit. You know, so back Role in the play? day, I used to do the Rick Ross shit. I had to do that once. Yeah, while fucking because that's what somebody needed. And that's when I was, I was like 23. Yeah. So that's when I was just trying to literally give women what they want for the pussy. Yeah. Other than that. Because she wanted to fantasize fucking Rick Ross? Yeah. Oh, fuck no. I'll beat that hoe ass. Whatever. I can't be a nigga. She, this was a woman who was clearly out of my league. Oh, this pussy was a gift. I she was a been, young nigga, though. I should have been fucking pussy this good at that age. Okay. It was a gift, and I was happy to receive it. And I was shucking job for it again. That's how we know men <laughs> are not the prize, because they think pussy is a gift. Dick is not a gift. I don't know, man. I don't understand how you guys can say there's not many good left and still think not many good men left and still think you're a prize. Because good women grow on trees. So I'm trying to understand how this works. You want to know something? It's so hard for me to believe that, but it's all about your surroundings. True indeed. And that's, and that's why I said, like, again, my friend Eddie, who's... In the NFL. NFL. <laughs> his, his view is different from my friends in Deep Side. Yo, yeah. If Deep Side is a hood, if you're not from Florida, um, I feel like every everybody's view is different based on your surroundings. A pastor's view is different from the owner of a strip club's view of their wife. The definition of good definitely changes. It's, it's what well, I think is a good woman. The pastor may not agree. Exactly. <laughs> Two so, so hold I, on. Can I cut you off? Yeah. yeah. What What's a good woman to you? Because for me, a good woman is somebody. Kind, smart, who cares about you, who won't fuck you over, and who's committed if you're committed. That's easy. All women are that. That's what he just said. He said good women. Grow on trees. Like that, people was like that, persp- grow on that was his perspective. Because here's the thing. Like, like, I think when I hear what women are asking for, I typically don't think it's like crazy or super impossible. <laughs> Yet, they say, ain't no good niggas out here. I can't find the niggas. All the good niggas either dead in jail or gay. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's what the streets say. It's what the tweets say. Or in a relationship. Or in a relationship. I hear that finding a good man is like finding a good parking spot. You got to catch one when someone's backing out. Jeez. That's kind of... I think that's true. <laughs> Hello? Hit, hit Somebody's signal, backing out. Dibs on that. Yeah, that, that's me right there. <laughs> Put the blinker on. All right, y'all. y'all no, but- okay, but like, do you think men like have that same kind of perception when it comes to... Finding some, good women? I think some, yeah. some niggas do. I, I think so. Some niggas do. All right. And I'm going to say this. Um, You know, not to toot my own horn, but... I love when you introduce your thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to say this. Not to toot my own horn. That means it's about to be something crazy. <laughs> and I'm going to say this. <laughs> the guys that I be with, I think th- they always they always say, like, this is about to be hard. Like, after our relationship, they feel like it's about to be really hard. And... Even okay, even me from uh, from my last relationship, I knew single life was going to be different because depending on the type of person you're with, it always gets harder or easier depending on the type of person you with. Could we agree on that? Um, I totally agree. Yeah, a lot of variables for sure. I just generally. You said just what? Generally, I guess because I do know that like sometimes when you leave relationships, what you want changes. Because you typically want changes, but the changes you want, you want them in addition to the greatness. You, to me, I feel like, well, this might just be me. You just want changes in that same person. You don't even want changes yeah. in the new person. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You just want typically, the you, yeah, you want typically, the remix. <laughs> typically, you want the remix, but you're not a, you're not able to find that person plus the things you want. If only. If you could build the bitch. Oh, all right, go I, to the mall and go a, to the kiosk. I got a question for you because we supposed to ask all our guests this. What's what would it? you say your toxic trait is in a relationship? Toxic. What was your toxic trait? I don't have any. You do? Come on. Sorry. I'm a different woman. It's 2020. Okay, what was your toxic trait? I don't remember. All right, my toxic trait is that I feel like sex fixes any problem in a relationship. Oh, and he's manipulative. 
You didn't well, like well, that? If you, if you, yeah, I didn't. But if you was to be honest and... and If I can be honest, right? Pretend, pretend you're on a date with the viewers and that was their question on a date. What's your toxic trait? My toxic trait is... You're if, a liar. No, that's easy. I can tell the truth. That's pretty easy. Even if you don't want to hear it, I don't give a fuck. You're going to get it. Oh, hold What's on. What's your I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. What's your sign? That's Cancer. Her. <laughs> when you said it, I would have wanted to say that. <laughs> That's why we're connecting so good. I don't really like the gap. The what? Nothing. Uh, I didn't know what you <laughs> were using. It, okay. it was a GA word. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but um, what's your toxic trait? Um, Typically, like... You're too emotional. You wear your emotions on your sleeve, so you're a firecracker. So because of that, if I foresee some shit that may get me started, I won't even talk about it. I shut the fuck down. Mm-hmm. I'll be quiet. Crawl you would talk into to that a, show. You would talk to a brick wall until you're ready to talk to me like an adult. Because all but, that rah-rah shit. Whoop. But no, but did you have to grow into that? Yeah, because instead of me like popping Going off, off and flying off, I'm a grown-ass man. Okay, How old I are just, you? I'm 32. Okay. So I just can't be spazzing out when I'm upset. Okay. Because that's unbecoming. That's why, because I was about to say, cancer men spaz the yeah, fuck out. Yeah, but like where I am now, especially doing business, like sometimes people will say different things or whatever the fuck. You just got to let motherfuckers know, I'm not going to engage until you come correct. Something I can say about the sign cancer, shout out to all the cancers watching. I told my best friend this the other day. I love how me and Julian are not good at this. They protect their peace at all costs. You got to. It's all you got. They do not care. They can give up their mother to protect their peace. Boy, listen. It's all you they got, They don't bro. care. It's all you got. They literally, if you are bothering them, they they want to lock, they can love you to the end of the earth, but if you bother them, they will lock you out. And also, you know me, like, whenever, I can't, like, not make a joke. If it's there, I'm going to take the opportunity. So that's your toxic trait. You think shit is life is a joke? No, not really. But <laughs> you see, I think that's like therapy, though. That's how women say it. Also, everything funny, everything is a joke. You think I'm a fucking clown? You want to know? I would so- see that as a form of therapy. I can agree with Julian, though. As it as is, I dated this Capricorn guy, and I just couldn't stay mad even when I was talking to him about cheating on me. <laughs> that nigga's an artist. Con. <laughs> that nigga Con is an artist. artist. You feel me? But it's but it's also because I don't think I loved him that much, and I did I didn't love him that much because everything was a joke. So it didn't hurt that bad. It hurt, but I ate still. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if a no, bitch, if a bitch still a eating, heart, no heartbreak starved you. That, that was a real heartbreak. Um, you wasn't hurt like that. No, I was hurt in in a sense like he had me doing crazy shit like. I'm running into houses, hiding under cars, staking out. Like I'm, I'm with the shits. Like Jamaican, fighting. Jamaican crazy. Mm. Okay, whatever. I'm so, happy, I'm so happy you're here. Bro. Oh my god! I'm so happy you're here. I just got to tie I'm, it all, all in. All I'm saying is, <laughs> you, did you say stabbing? All I'm saying. No, I'm is, saying because you know the whole NBA young boy thing just happened. <laughs> no, it's so I, incredible to watch. I never, st- I never stabbed anybody, but I, I'm, I did like do some. You know, I took my friend who just had a newborn baby. I took her trash from her dumpster and smeared her baby's poop pampers all over his car, put eggs on his paint because I heard eggs fuck up your paint job. You know, stuff like that. That's not bad. Because yeah. he cheated? Like No, he didn't cheat. He just wouldn't let me in the house. What? He because, didn't cheat on you? Because he was cheating. Oh, okay. Was cheating. No, be. actually, he had his, uh, he's in a fraternity, so they were having a private meeting. But obviously, I didn't know that. You could have said that. <laughs> <laughs> so you did all that shit for no reason. For an assumption. <laughs> Actually, it was for a reason because you didn't tell me that, and, then, and you bet, didn't let me in the I house. Bet, right when he told me, she was like, "Oh, okay, all right, baby." No. So how'd it end? <laughs> um, it ended with me throwing piss at his doorstep and running off. So when you found out that he was having a meeting instead of she, did, I, I don't feel like Star admitted to her wrong. <laughs> <laughs> she also Star. I just got to introduce you to Star. She she feels like if you're in a relationship with somebody. Like the woman is entitled to the dude's phone. How you feel about that? I don't agree with that anymore. Okay. <laughs> Look at Emily. Look, you know, here's the, I <laughs> Look at Emily. I have all the respect for somebody who says, you know what, I used to feel that way. But well, I've this changed. is news this is news to me. So this was last can week. We ask, <laughs> can we ask why the change? I what? change every hour. I okay. feel like <laughs> I fucking, what's your sign? 
Scorpio. Fuck. I got it. I can't sit next to this motherfucker, bro. Was that your best <laughs> relationship? I I, come sit, come sit. In, Let's talk. Something in me knew you were a Scorpio. You love us. Because the way I engaged her. Something about her is fire. Something about her makes me want to argue with her. <laughs> and I don't know what that I didn't know what it was. But now it's because you're born in November. That's why. Oh my god. It's because she's terrible. That's why. <laughs> That's why my nigga left me. <laughs> it makes sense now, bro. <laughs> these these motherfuckers find pleasure in discovering the button and then pushing it for their own personal pleasure. Oh my god, no, I'm not like that no more. Break it down, yeah. <laughs> See, keep breaking it down. That's what they do. Oh they search god. for the button because they all they, all they, all they want to do is find the button, then they find it and push it, and they're like, why, why are you, you tripping? Think, why do you think that? Is your baby mom's a Scorpio? No, she's uh Capricorn. Who you know, they always know what's What's they, know what's they, they know what's best. They're too work oriented. Like they're serious, how they business organized. Like, fed just fed calm the baby down. on the chart. Calm down. You know what I'm Them and Virgos are like that. Fed my so, son on the chart. So how do you know about Scorpios? Um, just literally, there was a series of my life, like three or four years, where I just kept finding them back to back. So you were cheating on them, so no wonder you feel weird. Sure. No, 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 come on. I mean, yeah, we, 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 he said yeah. sure. No wonder they yeah, were no, doing you wrong. The first thing we said is I'm Haitian, is what we said in the first few minutes of the show. Haitians cheat? Sometimes. Oh. Occasionally. I thought that was a Jamaican man thing. I thought Haitian men were loyal. Anybody who was on a Columbus boat pretty much cheats. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Makes sense. So <laughs> you was doing wrong because you was doing ain't nigga shit. We, you're canceled. I thought he had some valid points. <laughs> what, I was, what I was saying earlier before this, Julian... Word. Say that, that you change your stance about the phone. Oh, the phone thing. And you change every week. She said every I hour. Every I hour. Yeah. So. I said I can change every hour, not that I will. I was ask I was asking you. Um in a relationship, how do you feel do you feel? So I personally like I don't like when somebody's going through my phone, but I think I'm a smart enough man to know that if I put a rule on don't go through my phone. Then it's gonna happen. It's, then it's gonna be a, it's gonna happen, and it's gonna be an issue. I would never want to make somebody who I'm with feel like they can't trust me. So you're so you're kind of giving me game right now. You are giving all of yeah because because it, because so like, you just gotta because go like, if she say let me go through your phone and you go hell no nigga that's come on brother yeah you I can't did, live you can't one, live that one way. One thing I can say when I dated a Capricorn, I said let me see your phone. It's no dating a Cancer. Let me see your phone. Take that give shit. it to me <laughs> because because I but don't guess need that what issue. and nine time nine out of ten I'm not taking your phone to go through it and it's kind of like if when when I say let me see it and you just give it to me it takes kind of takes the fun away there's no more fun that's away. why I asked her I asked it her why do the, women wait till a nigga sleep to do it like why don't you just ask me because like if you make her feel weird about it or if you even do one of those you know how you ever like been next to somebody and you t- and you like text at an angle yeah that's enough. To create suspicion. Well, what if some niggas, I mean, me, I feel like I naturally text at an angle. You can't. You I, can't. That habit grew up from, from being in school texting. You have to unlearn that behavior because- I'm saying being in school, you can't have your phone out in high school and shit like Julian, that. Julian, you about to be 30. Please stop. What let, do you mean? Just it's stop. a behavior. Just stop. Let me tell you what I learned. You got me off. I'm <laughs> getting triggered. At 32, <laughs> being, being caught cheating multiple times, here's what I learned. Women don't know you're cheating. Women don't know anything's going on. What they notice- is that you start doing different or weird shit. Mm-hmm. When you start doing red flaggy shit, like tilting your phone, she don't know you're cheating, but something's wrong, and I'm yeah. going to find it. Um, do you want to know also, though, there are those special women, those intuitive women, and you don't know anything. The man is acting perfectly normal. And she but wakes something up. just tells you. A dream. And I, a dream. <laughs> a dream. Oh, my God. You know, I don't have a you dream. You know, Jamaicans, Jamaicans are psychics. <laughs> no, so for me, it's not a dream. It's my stomach. If I'll call my best friend like, my stomach hurt. I think he's cheating on me, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. I remember this like yesterday. My, co- my high school boyfriend, I was in college. And we're going through some things, but he's he was still my man. He just was acting up. But um, I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw a girl's photo on my timeline. And, and I he liked it. S- no, he didn't like it. He's not insta. He's not into that. And I said to my best friend, he, he fucking her. Wow. Without any clues. She was just in a bathing suit pic. And you was right. Right. I did him gyal like full like they were together. On the low. I'm a firm believer in women intuition. I think it's strong. I think... I, I believe women's intuition is bullshit. The thing is, they doubt it more than we do. No, Julian doesn't believe in it. I do. 
No, he's saying women doubt it. No, I believe like women sometimes like they we doubt ourselves they and men guess. know that we're right, but Julian doesn't think I we're do right. I do not believe in women's intuition. Le- like I could literally put out energy and be like, "This is happening. This is happening." And what would it be? Male's intuition? No, here's what I'm saying. Right, what I'm saying is like I don't know how it works, but sometimes women innately know shit. The issue is you can gaslight them. Into thinking that they're insane. You can, we can. You understand? We're easily manipulated. So it's like she can know you're cheating. It's like, come on, babe, look at me. Why do I have to lie to you? And she's like, well, why do I have to lie to you? She's second guessing Herself. everything she knows because of the bullshit you're feeding. Okay. All right. So go. I'm not saying I don't believe in women's intuition, but women's intuition is not a hundred percent from the field. No. That's what I'll say. No, but a her- woman's intuition may be right. I mean, maybe wrong eight times before it's right. So do you want to know what? Um, and this is what I said in like the beginning where women are no longer women. So, of course, we're second guessing ourselves. Women, we're supposed to be in, in tune with our bodies and our feelings. Like I expressed on the last episode, when you're talking to a man, tell him what you feel. Don't tell him what to do. Niggas don't want, niggas don't want you know, a mom or a when teacher. You said that, I thought that was dope. Only because when you tell me how you feel... You don't have to tell me what to fucking do. I know what to do. Exactly. Yeah, I know exactly. what to do. Not because she's allowing you to be the man. But exactly. But when you tell me what to do. That's, I, I fought with you. But when you, tell nigga what to, you. when you tell the nigga what to do, like, man, that's not how this shit works. Yeah. Exactly. You get defensive. You know tell so, me so, you feel bad so I can proactively make you, make you feel good. Oh, my exactly. God. Exactly. So that's what she I'm learning. That's what that. I'm learning that's as a, a woman. No, that... I told you that even on the phone, I said that's like the the most dopest shit ever. It's, no, it really is a beautiful concept. And so for me, learning that, I take that to the next level. I say, hmm, if I'm telling him how I feel, that means I'm in tune with how I feel. When you're in tune with how you feel, this is how women's intuition works. Women's intuition is spot on, right? Guess what's not spot on? Insecurities, the evil voice in your head. Your brain manipulating your relationship, your friends manipulating your relationship. You're it right now. These things are love not clouding your judgment. Love cl- these things are not spot on. Love you start clouding to, your judgment. You start to if wonder. Hmm. When my women's intuition kicks in, I say he lied about that. When it's insecurities and all. Hmm. I don't know if he should go to that party. What if? Or I don't know. Did he do this today? When women's intuition kicks in. He's fucking her. I'm in the middle of a party and a girl walks by. He fucked her. You've never That's witnessed your mother's intuition. intuition My mother. You never witnessed your mother's or your grandmother or your auntie like cooking with intuition. I could... Like when a friend walks in and and they say, "That's not your friend." <laughs> my mother has called out every ain't shit woman that's ever been in my life. Whether I whether I catch just from the not. walk in the door, just from the pull up, mm, I don't fuck with her. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it. It's not it's it. It's like. I'm going to do what I want to do regardless because, you know, cancer. Mom, I love her. We're going to do this. Oh, we're they are like this. that. <laughs> we're going to do this, mother. I love this woman. <laughs> My mother's a real, all right, you're going to see type of woman. Real Haitian woman. She's going to be quietly, let you die. <laughs> <laughs> and, bro, like time after time, like it's just something about women that they can see. They can see shit that we can't. Mm-hmm. Which is why, like, my girl homies, I take their advice a little bit more seriously than my male homies. Because they have powers my male homies don't. And I'm well aware of that. Can we take a shot today? I'm well aware. Can we take I'm a shot well to that, that, baby? Hey. Because. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I I'm love looking my at you ma- too, Malik. I love my male homies, bro. But you know, like your homeboys when they They don't know you, shit. So they laugh for no reason. No, but not even just that. It's the idea that they are seeing everything from their male perspective. Yeah, I, I don't you don't that. know us. I got a male perspective. I don't need yours. I got one. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about because the first, and you want to know something that used to always hurt me in all my relationships? When my guys used to try to call me out on things, I would say, how dare you think that I'm as dumb as you? Like, like let's say, for instance, like you would say like, Nah, you was acting funny. You said you was going to the library. You, all of a sudden, you go to the library at 2 in the morning. And in my brain, I'm like, do you think I'm you, nigga? You think I would lie and say I'm going to the library? You think I'm that slow? You would never know if I was doing something. You're insulting my intelligence. 
That would scare me. See, when, when she does that. I don't that, say that to them. Oh, oh, you're saying that's how you I would never say that to them. But that's what's going through my oh, brain. Okay, okay, like, okay, okay, like, when, like, when you say that, I'll never ask you again where you've been. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I try not. I, see, I used to say it to my college boy. I was mad of brazy with my college boyfriend. But I used to say to him, like, listen, community dick ass nigga. Ooh. Like, I spoke to. <laughs> I was a city girl and a Jamaican girl. So you just please, please don't try me. Because, and I remember one time he went through my phone. I literally was planting evidence for him. I changed my best friend's name in my phone. And when I, because she was my roommate, I would go home and I would have her phone and I'd be texting myself, sending myself nudes. Like, nudes of who? Her. Myself. To, her friend. to my best friend's phone. Just to incite the young nigga. Uh, and I am literally, I am me and I am this made up party that I am texting. But what? Because why was you doing that? Because I know that as a man, your insecurities are somehow gonna kick in. Because I'm gonna make it kick in. Well, you're because damn right. If I'm going through your phone and I see a nude. No, no, no. I'm saying before that. Why would you oh. go through a person's phone? Because gotcha. they're moving funny. Gotcha. Okay, okay. So guess what? You're doing wrong. Instead of me cussing you today, what I'm gonna do is start moving funny, and I move funny to plant the evidence. Because the evidence is planted. So when you decide to go in the phone, I'm gonna break your little heart in shambles. Bitch ass, pussy ass nigga. <laughs> right? And you think that your precious sweet star that you hold on this pedestal, who it took you freaking umpteen months to just touch, is just sending nudes out to niggas. Let me tell you, I don't know how you know that, but nothing hurts worse than the woman who you think is pure and pristine. Your little baby. Pa! Just to pa! know that she's she, a smut. That she's in the street. She's getting trained. Oh. That's the. Yeah. Mes amis. When the woman you love <laughs> is, and holding high regard is in the streets. I learned that because my friends in high school, I hung with all the hood niggas. So they know. When they, when they if they even hear they bitch text the nigga, it's like. So I was like, damn. It don't God. matter what the fuck he did last. Exactly. Like, it's weird. I'm like, whoa, niggas are weird. I know how to get back at you, but with I say all of that to say, I think niggas insult women when they when they do. You know, niggas have that thing. When y'all doing dirt, y'all all of a sudden your guilt trickles over. So you start questioning a bitch. Like I feel like it's the same shit, vice versa. I, and that's why I told you I disagree. I feel because like it's the same this shit. is why I disagree. Because when I'm doing me, I honestly don't give a fuck. Mm, that's so scary. I, I'm coming home being nice. <laughs> yeah, because all the women who I, I know, know that, niggas like that too. All the women who I know that cheat are are like silent assassins. Silent. Well, and I, I got women homies right now cheating on. On like their significant others in happy relationships, and I can't. They're just they're so good at it. They're and that's so much what, better than my male homies. This is my problem though with life. I'm not really good enough. I'm not good at cheating. Like I can't stir up the courage to really go fuck on you. So I will create. Like I will create a whole equation and rock your world because I can't. I can't actually do it. I'm bro, a pussy ass bitch. The news, bro. <laughs> like imagine you go on your phone. And your, and your old lady spread eagle <laughs> to her best friend's phone. And then you pull up like, what the fuck is this? She's like, ah, nigga. No, it's, 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 it's just like when, when I remember how he came at me with it and was like, Star, like, I can't even trust you. Like, like he was pacing, like, he shaking, like, couldn't even get words out. I'm happy she used to tell us a story. Yeah. <laughs> you got to peep the body language. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's bubbling. Um, that was then. And... As I said, I was not the hurt where I don't eat. I was the hurt where let's go toe to toe. And it, it was just kind of like, I feel like sometimes that's the worst hurt to be because you're hurting another party for somebody else. It takes you out of character, yeah. It takes me, well, that probably is my character. I'm out of character now. I'm trying to be better. I think being better, as you said, naturally, a Scorpio, we're vindictive. We like to pull. We like to... So me realizing that these are not great traits, and these are not traits that I'm happy about, I got to change it. But in that moment, I was happy. And I'm like, oh, you care about that? Because it's awkward. The screenshots I have in my phone, would you, would you like me to send it to these girls' boyfriends? Would you like me to post it on Facebook? What would you like me to do with them? I'm interested. So why are you talking to me about anything that's in my phone? Wow. Star always wins. Wow. No, I didn't win the argument, but he was an abusive guy, so I had a lot to say. He was or wasn't? Wasn't. Oh. Like, 
<laughs> so I had a lot to say. She's so funny. No, I so did. <laughs> no, this nigga ain't fight. I was talking all my shit. <laughs> <laughs> that baby was cheap. Let me tell you, I love it when I know a nigga scared of jail. If oh. I find out you scared of jail, it's see, on and vibing. This is why I can't go Jamaican crazy. I don't need that. I see she's just revealing herself. But, 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 but also, there's a kind of nigga who loves, like, remember how I was saying earlier how, like, American women say, like, shit you can't take it back? Yeah. They're niggas who love it. Um, listen, the, the dinga I, I was like dating is like American. That's American niggas. That Some is, niggas they are. Love the nigga American I was niggas dating are made for American was American. Women. He was American. So when I was other. popping shit, it rolled off his shoulder. You call him a puss ass fuck nigga? Who, babe? What else? Like some, yes! niggas, some niggas are like okay, that. Okay, I used to date like a really hood nigga too. Like when I got out of college, and like I'll be like, man, fuck you. He'll be like, man, fuck you, babe. Stop playing on me. <laughs> it's, like, I it's a love language. <laughs> He'll be like, man, I'll come fuck you up right now. You better come then. What the fuck you gonna do? You see, being cussed out is their love language. You <laughs> see, and I'm not on that shit. <laughs> <laughs> and right, and then and then imagine going from that and being with a Jamaican. Being cussed out is not because I forgot how far I could take it. <laughs> Yo, that's funny, and that's, that's a crazy observation. But there are some people who are made for that shit. There are some folks who fit like a puzzle. And I could say something, and you guys could tell me how you feel about this. I think another downfall to me and my dating. Um, I love how you guys get to see me evolve on this podcast, but a downfall is I'm such a chameleon that if I like you, I'll fit into your world. So, That's a great trait. But not really. Wow. Because then, who am I? Okay. I, and That's a great trait from a guy's perspective. That's, yeah. what, that's what I was saying. But ultimately, right, what's going to happen is in, in time, star's going to come out. No. So it'll never come out. Star is star, right? But when I say fit into your world, I mean like, for instance... I didn't go to Jamaican parties a lot while I was dating American guys. I didn't go to Jamaica a lot, even though I loved it. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't stressed. I wasn't. All my relationships are like three years or more. And I wasn't stressed. I was impressed. I'm still star, like the personality, but I fit into your world of like even cooking. Like I, I would have my best friend teach me how to make grits because I never even ate grits till I went to college. But my boyfriend was American. I had to. I would just do everything because I feel like I'm just being a good woman to you. Did those things make you uncomfortable, or like did you feel like you were being doing this things that were outside of yourself? Sound like a therapy thing. No, because, like, because <laughs> no, I'm because, fucking with because it. Because when I hear it, I think it's dope, unless it was like putting a strain on you. So you want to know something? When it comes to relationships, I'm like, I'm like Julian. I get excited about rising up to the occasion or the challenge. Like I, I'm not uncomfortable by it. Like I feel happy to to kind of make you happy. Right. But what I realize, I'm not at my highest level of comfort because as I move more into my comfort level, I realize, oh, I didn't really like doing that. Oh, I didn't really like whatever. But when I'm in the moment and I love you, I love See, you. That's interesting. So then. Would that mean that maybe you would be interested in somebody who was like more like you or no? In terms of chameleon? Yeah. What no. if you met another chameleon? What the fuck would that look like? Um, I don't give niggas a chance to be a chameleon. I ask the questions. Because I don't want I'm a s i am have such a strong personality, as you guys can see on this show. I'm not like that when I meet a guy. I don't want you to be persuaded, manipulated, or anything into what I want you to be. I want you to be transparent so I can decide if it's something I can do. That's, first of all, um, any nigga who lets you do that is playing the game wrong because that is brilliant. Because the whole point... But they don't know I'm doing that. The whole point is to find out who you are so I can be the nigga who you need for the next three months. <laughs> but if you flip it, then how am I supposed to be a scumbag? Um, well, I can say this. Um, my ex taught me this. Fuck early. Fuck. <laughs> she... <laughs> I hang with real niggas. I hang with Julian. You're indestructible. Okay? I hang with Julian. Just I fuck early. You'll know. I I get your body count. Do, if you if you care about your body count and all of that, then don't if just choose care, niggas a, you like. If a, as a uh, woman, a woman cares about as a woman, body. if you care about your body count and all that, don't date and talk to every guy that you think is cute. Pick and choose. But when you decide you like a guy because he has a great job, great personality, he's funny, and he looks good, and he has your four or five ticks, fuck him early. 
then you'll see the real him. I preach this all the time, and I can't believe another woman is saying it. Yeah, that's like the opposite of the ninety day rule, basically. What you because saying. I don't believe in it. <laughs> that was like if, a setup for failure. If you fuck her, you fuck. Okay, you have the pussy. Now what? Are you gonna leave? You gonna stay? What are you gonna do? Let's just do it. Yeah. Like all the waiting for the pussy. No, that you're just that's delaying. a gem. That's a gem. You're delaying the. You letting this nigga put on his act. All I'm saying is, if he came here for pussy. Give it to him. If he's going to leave, is he going to stay? Whatever he has to do, he has to do it right now. It's my idea that men are hunters. When you're hunting, you're in trickery mode. You're in camouflage. You're hiding behind trees. You're doing what you need to do to finesse to, for your kill. Just here's the kill. But, he, uh, but here's what's like special. How would a hunter feel here's what's special. The fucking... If the pussy isn't what he came there to kill... So he would he's get the pussy stay. and still be there, you see. Exactly, because he's but here for your full if heart. He only came for the pussy. Well, all right now. <laughs> and, and that's what I'm saying. As a woman, it might fuck with your ego, but here's where I say get in touch with how you feel. You didn't have sex with him for him. We like sex too, ladies. Let's be honest about it. We had sex because we wanted to enjoy that experience with this guy that we liked. Now, let's say the guy that you liked turned out to be a scumbag. That's great. You didn't waste one year. Now you can move on to maybe a possible husband. One nut versus one year. I think it's a huge difference. You the one nut versus one, one year, year rule. Yeah. What does that mean? No, that's okay. what he just said. Essentially, you can find out in one nut what you could have found out delaying that pussy for, for one, one year. For one year. That's Let's call this episode that. One nut versus one year. <laughs> one nut versus <laughs> one year. <laughs> yeah. So you should teach seminars because I think it's radical, but it works. Like, well, I'll teach seminars when I have a man again. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, I wouldn't take no advice from no single bitch. Like, I don't, see, you got I, all this to say. Where your nigga at? I hate that, though, because I honestly think, like, I, sometimes when I'm looking online, people say, well, I don't have any kids. I shouldn't speak on that. I'm like, bro, you, you, you've been alive all this time. Like, anybody single is single because you've been through some shit. Why aren't you qualified to speak about this? You want to know why I don't feel like people are qualified to speak? Because, example... No, why don't you feel like you're qualified to speak? Not people. Okay, me. When I'm broke, I should not be telling you how to get rich if I've never been rich. I could tell you how to No, how but to he, was saying, he was saying from the standpoint that you've been in relationships. So you could speak. Okay, yes, so, so but for, I've, I so, haven't had a successful one. So, for example, like someone like, for example, like, if we're going to use Dame Dash as an example. Dame Dash is co-founder of Rockefeller. Jay-Z's right? old business oh, partner. Oh, okay, yeah. Now, he's seen great success... But now he's on the other side of it. Okay. See, that's the difference. That's that's the difference. She's saying you're saying you never had a successful relationship? Or wouldn't I be in one? So she's saying the only way to have a successful relationship is to still this be is, in This is this is what I'm saying to you. This is what I'm saying. A business is a, a bit different from a relationship. Okay, talk to me. So when so if Trump right now went bank, bankrupt for real, not the rich people bankrupt, and got broke, he could tell you how to get rich. He's been there. He's been there. Right. If you have, let's say, been in a successful relationship and the guy died or something like that. Is that the only way to get out <laughs> yeah, of a successful she, relationship? She, she's saying, why isn't if it's it successful, successful, why are you not in it? Exactly. Why isn't it successful? So you're saying with a relationship, it's a different, it's a different uh, Level barometer. Of- Yes. Pretty much. Because the only way to be out of a successful relationship is, is, is I'm saying is, tragic. Because it ended up failing. Yeah. It ended up failing. Isn't that why people leave relationships? Because it failed. So it was not. But was it never successful? This is what I'm saying. You can tell someone how to get into a relationship. I can tell you how to get a man because I've gotten men. I can't tell you how to keep one. That is interesting and accurate, I guess. <laughs> no, because she's right. Like, if they're so successful, you'd still be in the pain. All you can do is tell me how to how, how to, to get there. You, you, you can tell me I how to get a nigga. You. you can tell me how to leave a nigga. You can tell me how to nag a nigga. Yeah. You can't tell me how to keep one realistically. Okay. I don't click. Do you see me with it? I can't keep one. So I, why am I speaking? And it's the same thing with kids. I I hate speaking on kids. Oh, hold because, on, but no. that's a no. Keep going because that's a great segue. Because that's the last thing. I want to talk That's what I want to talk about. I think that's different though. Okay, tell us. Because it's different because... Right now, Plus, Plus got a son. I have a son, right? How old is he? My son is 10. Oh. But like, So you had your, your son pretty early. Super early. I jumped at the game Not early. super early. I was 21, 22. Oh, right? that's late. That's not super early. Yeah? Niggas My parents had 14. me at 17. <laughs> Congrats to them. Look at you out here thriving. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats to them. They did that shit. <laughs> but um, because like, when I hear people without kids saying that they shouldn't talk about it, I don't... 100% agree. I mean, like, one, you were kids. 
you know how you want to be treated. Mm -hmm. You know, like, so I felt anybody who was raised kind of has an idea of what a child should be raised like because you were able to see, like, you know all the mistakes your parents made. The one thing I can say from knowing how to be raised is that you got to raise us all different. So I can't speak on your kids because I don't know them. True indeed, but you know enough to know that you can't do raise them all blanket. You understand? Know right, and that's that's what I'm saying. So it's it's really like not speaking on it. It's still just saying, hey, you can't do the same thing for each one. You got to know your kids. But some things are general. Like for example, when people were like everybody has something to say about Dwayne Wade's kid. I didn't agree with most of it. <laughs> Only thing that I agree with is that when when people said that 12 is too. <laughs> young to make lifelong decisions, I could probably meet them there. Everything else is, you should mind your fucking business. You understand? Um, that's, that, that's a lot of wine, Star. <laughs> <laughs> you thirsty? <laughs> you want another? Sh thank, should I? Thank you. Come on. We're here to help. We're a team. That's, that's good. Got gotcha. you. <laughs> Ciao. How do you feel about Dwayne Wade's kids? Um, Dwayne Wade's kids, Julian? I, his, when you talking about... His the girl one, boy. The only one that matters. <laughs> the one that matters. The okay. girl boy. I I personally disagree with Plus. I feel like they jumped the gun too early. But I... Well, that's what I was saying. Like, he's too young. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you're saying that's the only because, thing you can meet people there with. Yeah, because, so no, then I agree with I don't him. give a fuck what he do, but like, do it when you're 18. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Cause if, cause so then, yeah, sorry. I agree with Plus on that. And But, I, I mean, if we're being completely honest, shots of honesty, I'll take a shot to this. I feel like... I feel like just the way their relationship has been, I feel like Gabrielle Union has a lot of influence on that. I feel like I feel like she sees the the publicity benefits and the monetary benefits that come with making that. Because remember, decision. we in South Florida, we knew how quiet Dwayne Wade was before. Yeah. We remember. Mind the nigga you, didn't say shit. Mind you, and this is not even to air Dwayne Wade out, but he he has a whole nother kid that he can't ever publicly claim. <laughs> because you know she ain't having that shit. And that was a part of her stipulation. If you get back with me, you can't claim this kid. The Dwayne Wade clause. Yeah. Side baby clause. So, so because based off that- Why do you need like to publicly claim them if you're privately taking care of them? A kid? I agree with that. Why do you need to publicly I claim- I 1,000% Because agree here's that. what I find. There's a lot of people publicly claiming kids that they're not privately taking care of. So I say I say that that is probably wrong. And- <clears throat> Both ends are wrong. I feel like there it needs to come to a medium. Like, why is he not allowed? If you're if you're gonna continue to be with him and be married to him, like why? Like he literally only says I have three children, but he has four children. Oh, okay. I think that's wrong. I think that's like wrong. Like in interviews, I thought you mean like you know you don't want the Instagram photos because it's, well yeah he he's never posted social right media. because I get that, that makes I sense. get that part but if you're just disclaiming like the no he'll literally say me and my three kids my family <laughs> yeah like to <laughs> me it's like, and I mean look look bro I get it it's um I, I don't, don't think it's get right that. <laughs> I think if you're gonna accept somebody with their wrong accept them but here's what I can get I can get when a woman makes a man better he's met his master alliance, so to speak, that maybe we weren't seeing Dwayne for real. You get what I'm saying? This quiet person, the person that doesn't da 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 The reason why he agreed to even sign that is because Gabrielle Union... This is Dwayne Wade we're talking about. He don't have to be with Gabrielle, Gabrielle Union. Exactly. Gabrielle so Union is not even the biggest her. actress. Yeah, it has to be yeah, something yeah. about her. Sure, so, that brings something yeah. out in him. You know, something that Kanye said that... You know, sometimes I reflect on it think, yeah, it's, it's, it encourages me to work on myself is that Kim brings me so much peace. She brings me, like, this great feeling. It doesn't matter that she's a slut. It doesn't matter anything. <laughs> <laughs> she's not even a slut. Let me tell you something, bro. No, I'm saying that's, that's no, how he speaks. Do you yeah. know yeah. that I could see that, though? Like, do you know, like, despite what everybody say about her, do I think she's cool and stress-free? I could totally see that, bro. Yeah. Above everything else. She's a Libra. They are. But like our moms are Libras, you know how our moms are. Like, well, I mean, growing up, my mom was pretty tough. Yeah, I'm talking about now. She's tough because you were her kid, and they oh, were yeah. young and stressed the she fuck had out. To be. You know she had, to be. <laughs> she had no choice. You get what I'm saying? I'm talking about now. Our parents, like, even when they're encouraging us, they say what they gotta say, but they're not imposing yeah. on us. So you still club with your parents? They young as fuck. I do. <laughs> they come to my parties. And all. That's so gangster. That's so fucking. I'm trying I wish to my mom would listen to that. A, a part of me, like, it's weird. Like, I always wanted to be that young parent because that's all I grew up around. 
But now that that's how Marty passed. Because when my son hits eighteen, I'm gonna be like early forties. You're gonna be exactly forty. Exactly forty. So in my mind, that's perfect. I'm still gonna be a smoking, drinking, two stepping nigga. I don't think it's gonna change. And you're gonna do that with your son if he's down. Because my son, he's a different kind of guy. He's playing Dexter, and he loves the Lord. He's a different kind of man. Oh than my me. god, I is hate that... when them kids come out like that. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> no. Let me tell you something. You know what I mean? I curse around them. I talk all kind of shit. I'm an, my son, straight A's. Loves the books, loves the Lord, loves animes, won't curse, no rap, loves Jesus. And I, I'm no not, rap? I'm not making him do it. Like, my son has no bedtime. Is that he, from his mom's side? His mother's, like, has a personality. But, and this is, this is to piggyback into the kids, a reason why I'm afraid to have kids. Why and, both of them? Are you about, to, are you about to speak for both of them? I, I'm not going to speak on you. I'll speak for myself. The reason why I'm afraid and the reason why I just absolutely don't want Having kids is like a lottery draw that you got to stick with. Like, you you don't, you can't control how they come out. Yo, I ain't going to lie to you. I saw someone on Instagram, I guess Katy Perry is about to have a, a child, yeah. and she did the whole baby reveal with the cake and her dude. Yeah, I saw that. And she was like, it's a girl. The caption said, it's a girl. Somebody, it's like the most liked comment on there. Somebody said, yeah, for now. <laughs> like, you feel me? Funny. Yo, like. That's so funny. Like, in this day and age, like, yeah, you think it's a girl. <laughs> but, so, like, but, to, to both of those points, right? Like, it definitely is a lottery draw. But also, you know, because you were somebody who was raised. Like, you just, you take random parts from your parents and then you take random parts from what you've learned. And your friends, too. And your friends. So it's like, the person that I'm raising my son to be, he isn't all the way that. You know what I mean? But, like, the important shit, I think he has. But here's the thing. I used to hate in school when they would say, um, oh, these people don't have no home training. These people don't have whatever. Are you... D- I li- because my grandma pretty much raised all me and my cousins. For, you know, whether mom's in the army, dr- dad's a drug dealer, whatever the case was. She raised us. Same way, same rules, same everything. Julian, um, he has ADD. <laughs> no, but it's a system. I see you got him back. <laughs> so, same mom, same dad. Julian. That's, <laughs> that's that mom. That's that mom. <laughs> You're ready, star. Are you crazy? No. You're nailing it. So That works for all kids from 5 to 18. <laughs> so... so when they would say my, so some of my cousins don't have home training or I got too much mouth or da-da-da-da, we all act the fuck different in school. We all act the same at home. School is y'all playground. School is where your real personality comes out. Facts, because you're around all your friends. And, get, and guess what happens, though? School a lot of times determines your future and what you end up. My, my grandma, we are raised in freaking church. The same exact... Why did my cousin end up in jail... Drugs. It's like you can't be your true self. But now, here's the difference, right? Because, mm-hmm. so, I'm a comedian now who loves to talk about my dick on stage. Mm-hmm. I was raised being forced to do Bible verses, being forced to do those things. I was a youth pastor and choir director mm-hmm. up until I was like 21. Yeah. My son does the same things. The difference was he had a choice. But here's the thing why I say there's no formula. Because there are kids that are forced to do it that end up loving it, that so, stick with it. But I do know that the way to like the way to being a good person isn't forcing anything to do it. Great, I get what you're saying. However, it's I'm still saying, Russia I'm saying the time, the, the the paths are not even close. Like when you look at most families, you got the scholar kid, you got the kid that everybody is just like, oh look, yeah, you gotta look. pray for. Then you got the kid that's just very chill. In the middle. Yeah, in the middle. And oh. you don't know why. My grandma has five kids that she raised the same. Most of them are out with the family. One of them still under her roof. Two of them in jail. One of them, one of them dead. Or you Look, don't know. All that shit has a reason. We just don't know. This is what I'm saying. The reason is more than just you raising them the same. Sure, because that's what I'm saying. The variable. You can't control the, the variables. It's not all up to, basically, you're saying it's, it's not, not all up, up to how to you raise it. It's, it's like you could be the perfect parent and it still don't work. It still don't work. That's just, just like you could be that, the perfect partner and it still, it still, still don't, work. don't work. You know what that is? That is just a control freak. But here, it is. But here's why it makes it worse when it's a parent and not a partner. The love that I see people have for their kids, you don't. 
a lot of shit with a partner, you been say it's toxic. I'm it's done, done with it. It's done. I never heard a parent say my child is toxic and I'm done with them. You can't, bro. <laughs> Ex. I'm in a That's what she, said. she doesn't like that. That that you can't do that. You, you can't be like I'm so, done with this. So <laughs> like, you don't want to love somebody like that. No. I fuck with that. That's a great reason not to have kids. It's it's genuine. It's a great reason not to have kids. It's the best reason. Because like, a lot of people, what they fuck around and do is they know they're like me. They still have a kid, whether for the man, for their mom, or for whatever reason, and they abandon kids. They mistreat kids. You know you you know you're not with the shit. So why did you do that to that child? What's interesting is before I had my kid, so my father like wasn't a great one. So like I had my kid, like I found out I was gonna be a father when I was 21. And so my son was born a week before my first 21st Memorial weekend. He was born in May, the week before that shit. I was supposed to be fucked up and he ruined it, that bastard. Um, <laughs> but um, like I was terrified of not being a good enough father because at that point I was living crazy reckless so I was living for myself. So I already knew. So you were still single? Yeah, I was still single as fuck. Okay, okay. I mean, no, I wasn't single, but, you know. Okay. You know. And, um, <laughs> so like, I didn't think in my mind that I would have enough love to give to somebody. Because I was living for myself. That's that's my fear. So it's like, I'm like, that's my nigga. I want to I wanna intercept you. Not to no, no, fully intercept cool. you. But that is my fear. Like, I prioritize myself so much. Yes. My fear is somebody being above what I prioritize. Let me tell but you. Continue, Mine too. Continue, so continue because, story. Because my life was, it's me, I'm about these hoes, I'm about these strip clubs, I was having a great time. I don't see how I could love somebody else like that. But then again, it was also because I've never seen somebody father. Mm. So I was like, there's no way that I can do it, but I didn't, I didn't know what it looked like. And then me thinking that running away from your kids is genetic. So I was, I was just terrified. But the kid came and... um. All I can say is, is all that shit's different because I'm still like, I'm still like me. You know what I mean? Like for the most part, I've not changed. And like, I still put myself right. The thing is my kid, and it also has to do with him being a great kid because I don't know if my, if my kid was a fuck up, I don't know how I would feel, <laughs> but it's like the Russian roulette. <laughs> right. So putting my kid first isn't a burden because the nigga's so great. You know what I mean? So it's like, I love Especially as a nigga who who didn't have a great father, I take so much pride in nailing shit for him. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like when I get to do those things, when I get to think about, all right, how I'm going to eat this month, how he's going to eat this month. It's not even a, it's not the chore that I thought it was going to be. You know what I mean? I agree. I agree with that. I think that for me, it it go it boils down to that. I know that I would be a bomb ass mom. And, but the, you also understand. I saw you understand the work and I, the toll. I, I that understand it takes. the work and the toll, and I don't want it. And I respect it because, because it takes, it's, it's all of that. The convo Julie and I had was, "I'm a type of girl. I'll wake up and today's feeling like Bahamas. Let's go." Yeah. When you have a kid, and especially women, you know, I'm not saying men don't have their kids full time, but most of the time, the mom has the kid full time, or the mom is, you would, know, pressed it, with that. It would inconvenience those decisions. And I don't want an inconvenience. But also, I don't want to, we met today. Yeah. You understand? But I can also say that you're a 26-year-old star. You understand And guess what? what? A 21-year-old star wanted a kid. So, and then, and, and so star changes, but all I'm saying is there's going to be a day where those men just no longer be your ones. And I would agree with that if I didn't feel that wanting a kid was something that was, I feel like, conditioned into me like my natural personality doesn't like structure oh well fuck it and and that's what i'm saying when i wanted a kid i had to sit with myself and say why do you want it do you really want a kid is that what happy looks like to your life because i have to i told julian i'm off instagram right now and i told him it's because every every so often you got to stop separate yourself from everyone and everything and said what does your life look like when you're happy what are you doing? What are you, who are you with? The type of person are you with? What is your goals? Like, what does that even look like to you? And I'm sorry, a happy life looks like being the auntie. I'm going to come to the games. I'm going to come with jerseys. I'm going to come with snacks for the side. And I'm going to come with posters. <laughs> and I'm going to leave without your motherfucking ass. I think people who can understand that and realize that they're going to be the ones who create less miserable people. Yeah. Because miserable parents 
raise miserable people. So true. And if you know that you're not going to be hairy, happy sorry, in parenthood, don't do that shit. So yeah. true. Don't do that shit. So but, it's like somebody who knows, I mean, I want to give that. I think that's brave. And I don't know if you have been, but don't let none of these bitter motherfuckers with three kids bully you into feeling any different. So let me tell you something. How do y'all feel about this? Um, I want all perspectives. Right now, it's currently hard dating for me because I don't want someone with too many kids. I could deal if you have a kid and don't want no more. Um, but meeting guys with no kids, they want kids. Tell me how, how life is going for you. What's your take on dating women with kids? Do you want more kids? What is that? I prefer... So, I really don't care about dating a woman with a kid. I'm more interested in dating a woman who doesn't want any more. Okay. So it's like, if you came to me with one, whatever, let's rock. As long as we understand that you don't want more. It's done. You understand what I'm saying? Because having one kid doesn't damage you. Having two kids, you really got to have your shit together for me to jump into that world. Right. Because it seems like a burden unless you're killing it. Right. Um, so I, I see nothing wrong with that. And honestly... So for you, if a woman has one or two kids and she's they're good, you guys can blend a family... Cool, but we're not doing this again. Because I, I don't want more of them. Right. Oh, so you're done. I'm done. He's uh, done. Because I'm, so let's say you meet a woman. Let's say you met me. And I'm like, hey, we're on a date. We're having a good time. And I'm like, yeah, I don't mind that you have a kid, but I don't want kids. That's you're perfect. good with one it's kid? It's perfect. That's right. perfect. Because for me, it's like, I mean, like, if you, especially like, at my, like I have a kid who's 10. If you have a kid who's 10, nigga, he's raised. We just got to ride him on out to college at this point. <laughs> yeah. He's done. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't have to be his father. He knows what a father is. I just got to support you while you support him. Mm. That's right. all my job is. Right. But I mean, it's like I have my kid. I'm going to raise my kid. My kid has a mother. Your job is just to be nice. Right. And we can be happy, but I just don't want to like argue with somebody who wants to start a family because that's not where I am. And one thing I know about kids, you, they're a non-negotiable. Mm -hmm. A nigga who wants them, and somebody who doesn't want them it's not gonna work. can't find common ground. Nope. Because you can't have a kid sometimes. You can't have half a kid. I ain't how gonna do lie. you feel, Julian? Before I'm gonna tell you how I feel, but he said something that sparked some something I I I guess respect out of my mom is that she never really got into a serious relationship until I was like eight, nine, ten years old. So like and she's still with that person mm -mm. today, that's still her boyfriend. But he never tried to play the like the dad role because like it was already established. He's a real nigga, but see, he's a nigga who understands. Yeah. Like right now, whenever he's I was playing the dad role. Well, okay. So like for example, right now I Wait, no, no. I need Julian to answer the question we Sorry. all just answered. Okay, so I think, Could you date a woman with a kid? No, I'm a, I'm gonna answer that. But I'm gonna answer your first question, what's the dad role? I feel like if I was a lot younger and my mom was in a serious relationship, I feel like this is just a feeling, so I'm not saying it's like 100% okay. accurate, but I feel like he would have been under the pressure, like, I have to be this guy's stepdad. Role model type shit. Yeah, you, you get what I'm saying? Because of, like, my my age, like, if I was, let's say, three years old or something like that, it's like, it's a different, you're getting into something different than versus, like, plus set, getting with somebody that's like already raised, already, like... like Right now, I talk to this girl. She has a 10-year-old. And it's like, when I've spoken to the nigga... Like, you don't have to teach him how to piss. You don't have to... Not even that. It's not even about teaching him how to piss. It's more like... how you. I speak to him like he's the man of his house. And he's 10. But him and his mother's always been you two. You're the man of your house. So if I come in there on some, I'm your father, listen to me type shit, like, it's just, it won't be as smooth. Because he's a little man. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I had a stepfather. I know how I would feel. A nigga come into my trap with all this bullshit. Mm. So it's just, it's... um Like, that's what I was saying. Like, I never... And it's not out of disrespect, but I've never referred or felt like my mom's boyfriend was my stepfather. Mm. He was just supporting her. And but I fought with him 100%. I've never had an issue with him. Like, me and him get along very well. But it's just like, a, I guess, I a thin you. line. So would you date a woman with kids? I would not prefer to. I wouldn't say I, no, Julian. Fuck. Say no. He's say like, no. There's something Fuck wrong him. with him. He Fuck. don't like to Fuck be the bad guy. Say no. <laughs> he don't say like no, being a bad guy. And it's just like, it's Fuck like it, he man. avoids it at all costs. Say no, because the way he said it, I feel you. You're an actor, artist. <laughs> say no. He don't want your fertile ass, ma'am. No. <laughs> no, ma'am. No. He don't want you. All right, no. 
<laughs> you don't want to date a woman with kid. No. And, with okay. kid. and only and it might be selfish, but only because you I don't, don't have, have a, kid. a kid. If I had a kid, I feel like I would be more open to it. Right. But I feel like I don't want to take when on the start, burden of when you start dating a woman, if let's say let's say how old are you, Vic? Twenty nine. Um you're twenty nine. Let's say you started dating a woman that is thirty two. And she doesn't have kids. Every all the ticks check off. You're good. She doesn't have kids. She doesn't have kids. But it's important for her to have, start having kids. That's not an issue. <clears throat> so you could start having kids now. I could. I could see myself having kids. I. You I could start want having kids to have now. Kids, but it's still a fear you at the same time. You could start having kids now. Yes. Okay. But it's still at the same time. Even though it's like I could start having kids now, it's still a big fear at the same right. time. Right. But you want them. How many kids you want? One. Like plus, I want to be like plus. Yeah, girl. man, because that one, especially because I know that the first time. Oh, what if oh, you have a girl? That's what I was about to say. Because niggas want they say, boy. <laughs> Look, that's what I was about to say. If it's a boy on the first time, I'm go having one. But like, Cause if I'm, it's a girl, it's not enough. Because women know, are not the prize. I, I had my boy, and I could still be a savage. My homeboys were girls. Them niggas changed as people. They're whore. Changed. <laughs> They're different men now, brother. Like, having a young lady changes niggas. I've watched it happen. These niggas, these niggas go from from thugs to teacup parties. <laughs> <laughs> it changes. Yeah, so I, I was... With gold teeth in a teacup, <laughs> niggas change. It's really dependent on if I had that boy the first time that I fulfill all my dreams. Oh, my God. To have the boy first, yeah. big, strong, healthy boy, us oh, is the best. Ooh, child. Race, but I will say this. 2020 on. This is the final statement of the show. Go ahead. 2020 on. You should want to raise a woman. Because right now, in today's day and age, they're raising women to be indestructible beasts. And they're raising bitch-ass niggas of boys. At this point, so niggas have, like, people have told women they can be whatever they want for a long time. This may be the first time ever mm-hmm. where it's true. Mm. You know what I mean? You can raise a woman... And it's like, you can know that like when she gets older, sexual harassment ain't going to slide. Her being paid less ain't going to slide. Yeah. Her having to wear a dress and shut up ain't going to slide. She, if she want to be a fullback, if she wanna, whatever the fuck she, she wants be to be, she can be. So if you want to raise a beast of a woman, you can. And the sky's the fucking limit. I would hope that from 2020 on, people start raising women to be women and men to be men. And I'm sorry if people that don't like gender roles feel triggered and unhappy, leave it in the comments. I won't respond. Um, <laughs> I said what I said. All right. So And this is Shots of Honesty. Take a, a shot, Julian. I'm about to take the last shot. This has been another great episode. One more time, want to shout out Compound, Compound Miami for sponsoring us with the liquor bottle. Want to shout out Plus. Yo. Let them know about your podcast and everything you got going. I know it's quarantine time oh. now, so you're not on tour and stuff like that. Yeah, man. But um, in the meantime, you know, I'm still potted like you guys are potted. Uh, Niggas with Opinion Podcast, find it on all the streaming platforms. Um, as far as these tour dates, uh, once we out of quarantine, we back on live. We're pretty much staying active with the venues. You know how it is. Just pretty much staying flexible because these deposits are already in. And they're not going back. <laughs> they're not going back. <laughs> so, all the niggas only want to reschedule right now. So I'm about it. Whenever things get clear, we'll be back on tour again. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. This is a great time and great nah, conversation. It was a great episode. I fought with it. It was very informative. This was episode 18. Shout out to the whole production crew, Ricky, Malik. I'm going to take this last shot. <laughs>